All right, so here is how a student might model this kind of a problem. So the idea would be, okay, 583. What is 583? Well, that's going to re be represented by five big boxes. One, two, three, four, five. So those are like hundreds, 10 by 10s. And then you're going to have eight tens. So let's do, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three ones. One, two, three. Clearly these are not drawn to scale. And then uh, we would divide by four. So we're going to have four piles. One, two, three, four. And so the first task is, okay, well let's sort. And we can see that we can sort one, two, three, four, hun uh, whoa four hundreds into those piles. We have 100 left over right here. Right away we can grab two tens, another two tens, another two tens. Oops, there we go. Another two tens and lastly the final two tens will go right here. All right, so we have 103 left over. Now that this 100 right here, we can exchange it. And we can exchange it for 10 tens. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that means this goes away because we've replaced it with 10 tens and a 3. So we have 103 left over still. We just broke that 100 into 10 tens. And then we can sort those. So we can have these two go over here, these two go right here. Let's see, I'll put them right there. These two, and I keep saying these two, but really these are two tens, aren't they? Two tens. And now we can't sort anymore because we have 23 left over, so we don't have enough to sort out into four piles, except we can take these three, move them over here, and these, these two uh, tens, we can exchange them for 10, uh, 20 units, 20 ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that equals this guy, so I can delete him. And then we have uh, another 10. Oops, there we go. Another 10. It could go right here. So that means we can get rid of this guy because we've exchanged him for 10 ones. So now we can sort these out. So we can say, well, these five will go in this pile. These five will go in this pile these five will go down here and then these pile or five will go right here so we now have our answer because we have three remaining left over that we cannot sort into uh, any any of these four piles so we now have our answer our answer is in each pile we have 100 as indicated by the big square 40 as indicated by the four four tens, one, two, three, four, and then we have five left over, so 145, and then we've got this with a remainder of three left over. And so that's how we might uh, sort and get this answer using the model by the sorting technique.